Hey, today on ProTech Coach, we're going to continue a theme of how to add two-factor authentication into various uh, services and applications. Uh, in this one, we're going to be talking about LastPass, so let's get right to it here. I'm already logged into my LastPass account. I'm going to go to the settings. You can see there's lots of different uh, settings to deal with. We're going to look at the multi-factor options. LastPass provides a variety of different uh, services you can tie in for in, in for uh, multi-factor authentication. We're going to go ahead and use the Google Authenticator that I have uh, on my Android phone. So I've got uh, my Android phone in my hand. I've got the Google Authenticator app open. In the Google Authenticator menu, I am choosing Set Up Account. I'm choosing Scan a Barcode. That's what this uh, little QR code here is in the middle and then I'm just going to open that opens up the a camera I'm holding my phone up it took a picture of the QR code it put in the uh, one-time passcode seed into the application so I am now able to generate uh, one-time codes for LastPass I need to enable this not quite done yet and uh, to do that if, what needs to happen is I need to verify that everything is set up correctly in Google Authenticator by giving it the code on my phone right now. So let's go ahead and uh, type that in here. Doesn't matter that you all see this code because it's only good for the next 60 seconds. We can see everything's been set up correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and hit update to make sure all these changes got set. And at this point I need to enter in my uh, LastPass uh, master password which I'm not even gonna type in here so that I don't even give it away just how long a password this is anyway that's uh, all there is to it and then ever after when I need to log in with LastPass it will ask me not only for my username and password but also then for a one-time code from the Google Authenticator which I type in and then I'm good to go I can also at that point choose to mark this computer as trusted at which point I don't need to enter the one-time code every time I log in which uh, you know is a perfectly good thing to do on the machine that you use all the time and have control over uh, you can also come back and um, mark a trusted computer as uh, not trusted you can revoke it remotely so if you log in from a friend's machine and accidentally uh, say you trusted the computer and you don't want to do that uh, when you get to your normal machine you can or any other machine you can log in and come to the trusted computer section and turn it off and revoke uh, that trusted status from any other machine and also from any mobile device hope this is helpful I uh, definitely recommend LastPass, and I always recommend turning on two-factor authentication uh, anywhere it's offered. And uh, I would even prioritize what services you use by those that offer two-factor authentication versus those that don't. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks for stopping by ProTech Coach. Talk to you next time.